the parametric equations of a curve are show that the gradient of a curve is always positive so um from x equals ln 2 plus 3t we find the dx dt so we differentiate with respect to t and this is the rule we use ln becomes 1 over so we have 1 over the argument we multiply by 3 because of the chain rule because of the derivative of the argument so the derivative of 2 plus 3t is 3 so that's the dx dt now for the dy dt so this is a division we have to use the quotient rule so the du dx in short let's say u prime the dv dx v prime so the quotient rule is u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared so just like this v u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared so if the u is t the u prime is 1 and if the u is 2 plus 3 t the v prime is 3 so just plug into the formula we get the dy dt okay now dy dx is actually dy dt dt dx because just like when we multiply fractions we can cancel out this is actually dy dx the dy dt is just like this now the dt dx is not exactly like this because this is the reciprocal so we're gonna have to flip the fraction upside down to find the dt dx so this is the dt dx again we flip upside down because this is dx dt not dt dx okay so we um, cancel out uh, 2 plus 3t here with the power so we have 2 over 3 times 2 plus 3t that's the dy dx and show it's always positive okay so um the x uh, parameter uh, parametric equation is this guy here so the argument of a logarithm cannot be negative so 2 plus 3t must be positive which means if 2 plus 3t is positive <coughs> then the whole fraction must be positive which means the dy dx is always positive which is what we need to prove and um, next part find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where it intersects the y-axis so intersects the y-axis means the coordinate of this intersection point would be um, 0 comma something so y intercept x equals 0 so um this is the x um equation the x function before in the first part so if the x is 0 we can find the t here so plug in this is x we e to the power of e to the power of both sides because e to the power of ln cancel out we have only the argument and then we subtract 2 from both sides and then we divide both sides by 3 and we get the value of t after we have t we can plug in the t into the y function here we replace this t with uh, minus one third and we get the y value and to find the dy dx again we plug in t here we have the t we plug in we get the gradient now remember that um, to find the equation of a line we can use the y minus y1 formula so this is the y minus y1 formula we're gonna need the gradient which is the tangent gradient which is the dy dx that's the gradient and we need a point on the line we already know the x value this is the y value so that's the x1 y1 we plug in into the formula and we simplify and we get the equation of the tangent line all right i'll see you again